Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to improve accessibility of audio content with the audio element. HTML5's audio element gives semantic meaning when it wraps sound or audio stream content in your markup. Audio content also needs a text alternative to the accessible uh, to be accessible to people who are deaf or hard of hearing. This could be done with nearby text or on the page or a link to a transcript. The audio tag supports the controls attribute. This shows the browser default play, pause, and other controls and supports keyboard functionality. This is a Boolean attribute, meaning that it doesn't need to be a value. Its presence of the tag, the presence of the tag turns the setting on. Here's an example. We had an audio tag with the idea of meow, meow clip, and it's set to controls. And now then we have source elements on the inside. Note that multimedia content usually has both visual and auditory, auditory components. It needs synchronized captions and a transcript so users with visual and or uh, uh, auditory impairments can access it. Generally, a web developer is not responsible for creating the captions or transcripts but needs to know to include them. Time to take a break from CamperCat and meet fellow camper Xerxiax, a champion of accessibility and a screen reader and a screen reader user. To hear a clip of this screen reader in action, an audio element after the P, uh, include control in, include the controls attribute and place a source tag inside the audio tags with the source attribute equal to this. So I'm just going to copy this now. And then and put the type set to audio slash mpg, mpeg. The audio clip that that may sound fat. Uh, the audio clip may sound fast and be difficult to understand, but that is normal. That is a normal speed for screen reader users. So I'm just going to open a new tab and play this real quick. <laughs> So apparently people um, with hearing impairments enjoy that. Um, the audio clip may sound fast at first. Okay, so what we want to do is include a um, audio clip. Uh, yes, so here we're going to first add an audio element after the P element. So this is the P element. So I've added an audio element. Um, And then also we want to add controls to this tag. Just like that. Include controls attribute and then place a source tag inside the audio tags. So inside of the audio tags we're going to say um, source and we're going to set that equal to, no we're going to set the source is equal to our uh, mp3 and then we want to set our type to be equal to um, audio slash mpeg and the source tag is a self-closing tag so we can just do it like that instead of saying slash s source we don't need this because the source tag is self-closing with this element and um, here now we have the uh, player and uh, I think if we run the test this should pass Looks like looks good. So yeah, this is just best practices in HTML5 for wrapping audio players into your applications. Hope you guys enjoy this. We'll see you in the next lesson.